Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I am updating my 12 lipsticks of 2022 challenge. Here she comes, it's like clockwork. This is the Freya show. You want to say hello to everyone? Oh yeah, oh yes. No, don't lick my face. It's a daily struggle. Okay, you're done? She's done, okay, great. So, uh, I do have some updates with some of my lipsticks. Just going to touch on the ones that I didn't use. I definitely didn't use my Hourglass lipsticks. I don't think anyone is surprised. I'm not vibing traditional lipsticks at the moment. I think I might have used my Pat McGrath's uh, Six Sexy Lip Fetish Color Balm maybe once, but I can't actually be sure. You know what? I'm wearing... The new thing that I'm introducing so get get a look doesn't look like much does it it's not um, but just to make sure I did get a use out of this there we go okay I definitely used it at least once um, next I have the thing that I'm probably hating the most at the moment and that is my Colourpop lip gloss it's the Colourpop Becky G shade in B so I'm going to do a swatch because the more I use this, the better. It is a nude creme. I just don't love it. Uh, it's okay. For starters, it doesn't settle in the tube, but I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Let's try. Can you see? Can you see the little gaps? Like there's one here. So I've been scraping it like I'm using it. Um, I do have weight updates on this. Uh, look. I actually thought this was the one I used the most in the last month. It's not. So this one was 25.65 grams at the last update and it is now 23.97. So I've used a lot. I can like see through it. It's quite translucent. It just doesn't settle, which tells you like how thick this formula is and I think that's what I particularly dislike about it a lot of Colourpop lip glosses that I've used in the past they do settle if you stand them up and it doesn't usually take that long this one I've always had like standing up ever since I introduced this this became my handbag one and this was sort of put to the wayside that annoys me uh, because it's hard for me to see my progress but I mean, you can see when I scrape it, there's really like, wait, which way, ugh, which way are we going? Here we go. So there's not a lot in there. Like I have used a bit of it, but oh, I just, I really wanted it to be finished this month, but I've still got a little way to go. It does feel thicker than other Colourpop lip glosses I've used on my lips in the past. And of course, I, I hate the woeful brush. It's like... Mine is still fraying. I don't know if you can really see. There's like one stray piece there, even though I trim the stupid thing. Anyway, hopefully that will be done by the next update because I'm, I'm not loving it. What I am loving is this. This is the lip, oh wait, Revlon Kiss Glow Lip Oil. So this one also has some progress. Not as much though. I was kind of surprised because I've been using this a lot and like re- applying throughout the day so this one was 24 point no that's wrong that's a current weight it was 24.51 it's now 24.22 so i didn't use it that much but i just love how thin this formula is i'm really digging that at the moment i love the scent of it i really like the color it is soft and subtle like ever so slight hint of pink without being like intense pink this Pat McGrath one is a bit more pinker than I would like but I mean the formula is fine now when it comes to what I'm introducing this month I am taking a risk with this product I don't know if I'm gonna love it but I found it in my drawer and I thought if I'm ever gonna use this now is the time so we're doing it this is the Dior Lip Glow. This is like the original color. It's basically, a, it looks like a sheer pink. It goes on clear and then it self adjusts to that like, it's like a soft pinky color. It's not one of those really like bright garish pinks. If it was, I wouldn't be able to do it. That's what I have left. It has had, 
you know, quite a bit of use. I'm not sure I'm really going to love this because I don't really like those color adjusting lipsticks or lip balms. But from what I recall, I really enjoy the formula of this. So you can probably see how much I've used in there. It's sitting about there. That I mean, there's not a whole lot of product in this, does it say? 3.5 grams. Not a whole lot. It's lip balmy, so I should be able to apply it, you know, several times a day. Maybe we'll get some good use out of it. But I kind of thought to myself, if I'm going to ever use this, it's got to be now. Otherwise, when it comes time to like go through my lip collection at the end of the year, I'm going to declutter it for sure. But also I got to thinking about um, the formula, like how it makes my feels lip, but feels lip what? Wow, I need a, I, I need a break. How it makes my lips feel. And I'm pretty sure that I really enjoyed it for that. So I'm going to give it a go. Any use is good use, I suppose. And I could just throw it out and work on something else. But also, you know, I've thrown out a lot of makeup over recent years and I'm trying to be a bit more responsible about that makes me feel very guilty so I feel better about using things than I do just throwing them away I'm pretty happy with how I'm going with the project I really want to finish this I'm not gonna lie like this is sort of the bane of my existence at the moment I'm not even worried about these <laughs> like it just is what it is um I don't I don't know if they'll see any use maybe you know, in the coming months, my feelings will change and I will want to use some traditional lipsticks, but I'm just not really there at the moment. This one, also another one that I'm probably struggling with. It's kind of hard. Look, this project is madness. Introducing a new lip product every month, obviously it's going to get to a point where I stretch myself too thin. And I did have others in the project earlier in the year that I have since decluttered and finished so that's great but at this point I'm going to have six lip products in the project and you kind of have to focus on one to make good progress so my main focus is going to be this and I think this this one will become my handbag lip gloss and this one will become my which it has been for the last month, my sitting at the desk and applying my makeup and then, you know, go in with this. In fact, I know I have three lip products on my lips at the moment, but they're all pretty thin. So let's just add to it. This is what I don't like about this product. I don't feel like I can just apply it all over my lips. I have to apply a little bit and then sort of blend it in because, oh, and here we go, I can show you now. Look at that. Look at it. It's horrid. Yeah, I feel like I have to blend it in because otherwise it looks really kind of thick and goopy. And because I'm pretty sure it has a white base, it just looks a bit funky on the lips when uh, you put it on or when I put it on heavy. So anyway, that is my goal. This will become my handbag one. This little guy will sit at the wayside for a little while just like its friend here but I am enjoying the project uh, at this point and I think making the change of just using lip products that I'm actually gravitating towards or you know rolling in new lip products that I'm gravitating towards that is smart and not going with the original 12 lipsticks I chose in December of last year. If you guys are doing any sort of lip project at the moment or focusing on finishing up a lip product, let me know how you're going with it. Uh, and I will be back in a month with another product to roll in to this project and an update on uh, how I'm going with the lips products. I'm, wait, one last thing. I'm kind of I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of obsessed with like trying to work out how much of this I have left. Can you see? No, you can't see. How can I show you? I can't. It's sitting at about there, which is where the wand would be. So that's, anyway. Okay, I'm going now. Thanks so much for watching guys. Shout out to my channel members. Will it go over here or over here? I don't know, but shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much for your support. 
it really means the world to me. I really appreciate you guys. And Freya, did you want to say goodbye? It's time to go. Come on, come say goodbye. I know, it was a quick one. You didn't even get to have a nap. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh so excited. Okay, Freya says goodbye. I'm saying goodbye, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh.